What's up guys? Welcome back to Splendid Knitting where today we're going to learn how to crochet uh, because I think it's time. I've been knitting for almost five years now. I just kind of jumped into it and never looked back. Um, and I've tried my hand at crocheting before and I've always kind of deemed it less fun, less easy. I think it doesn't look quite as good in my personal opinion. I don't like the fabric as much. I think I could grow to love it, okay? <clears throat> and that's where this comes in. I've already cracked it open because I was curious, but we're making a cow. This is a kit I got from my local Michaels. It is the Loops and Threads Crochet Kit, um, and apparently its name is Casey. Of course, we got some instructions and everything that you could possibly need. Look at that. We also got some stuffing. We got our crochet hook, little plastic guy. I don't know how big this even is. No idea. This is like, I think eyes and a little bell and a needle in here. And we also have our black yarn, white yarn, brown yarn, and this tan colored yarn. Upon looking at the instructions, the first issue I see, um, what stands out to me is that I don't know how to read crochet patterns. And it has like explanations. It shows me how to do everything. So hopefully it's okay if I just like jump into it and see what happens. Um, but there is potential for disaster and for this cow never being born into this world with my hands. Really weird way to put it. Really, I could have worded that way different. Okay. I'm like a little nervous. Work in continuous rounds of single crochet without joining unless otherwise indicated. Mark the first stitch of the first round with a marker. Oh. Okay. So we're starting with the tan yarn, it says. Color B. Color B tan yarn. Okay. <clears throat> My voice is going, by the way, as I'm recording this. Chain six. Got it. Oh god, it's already going terribly. Let me just chain six. If only I could do that without struggle. <laughs> My hair. <laughs> Four. <clears throat> Five. Six. Okay. Three single crochets in the second chain of a mug. Got it. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. Okay, don't worry. You guys, practice makes perfect. Great. Now I definitely did something wrong. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, <laughs> it took me a second, but I'm literally doing it. I am shocked. Honestly, when, okay, the first like two times I cast on, I realized I was doing it like knitting and I kept all the stitches on the hook and I was like, okay, something is wrong. Also, my eyes are watering because I've been staring at the pattern, like not blinking for so long. Um, but we're getting somewhere and I'm having some fun. So that's like the nose of the cow. I feel like it's going to be bigger than I thought. Um, but that's fine. It's easy. I bet I look so uncomfortable like trying to do this because I'm still like, I still don't really know how to hold everything. I just feel like ugh, out of control. But at least I'm doing it. Like I, 
I wasn't even sure I'd be able to get this far. It's the next day. I'm not wearing any makeup. Please excuse the acne, which is basically always going on. I think I figured it out. I, I know I figured it out, mostly. I know I made some, like, mistakes. Um, but after figuring out that I don't need to keep all the stitches on the needle, I have a cow head. Um, it's a little lumpy, but I think this is, like, what we're going for over here. So, um, we've cast on for the body. So I have this going on. And... I think it's going smoothly. Um, I'm having fun, actually. I was like kind of under the impression that crocheting would be harder than knitting, but now that I kind of, I can like read the stitches a little bit, it's like, it feels just as easy as knitting. Let's keep going. Okay, oh my god, this lighting is like unforgiving. I'm beginning to think I don't know how to do my makeup. But maybe it's the lighting in this room. But either way, I don't know how I feel. Whatever, that's not the point. So we have taken enormous steps when it comes to <clears throat> learning how to crochet. My voice is still gone. I feel like I was sick in the last video with like a regular cold and then I went to Montreal and caught a throat thing so I'm just doing great all around I have all the pieces of this cow crazy thing to say I have everything ready um, and I feel like I've progressively gotten better and better, which is to be expected because practice makes perfect, you guys. Um, so what's left is to sew everything together. I'll show you all the different pieces. Um, <laughs> we have the crooked cow head. We have two little, like, oh my god, yarn everywhere. Two little horns for the cow. We have, these are the ears for the cow. We have a body here. We have spots to go on the body. And we have four legs. So all that's left is to stuff it and sew it together. And then we have ourselves a cow. Don't have a cow about it. I have previously been so intimidated by crocheting and I feel like working on this has made it much more achievable. I don't feel as like incompetent about it and I feel like it has to do with being able to read the stitches as I go so I actually know like where to put the hook because it's been a mess every time I've tried to crochet before. So this has been a big help. My voice is going. Oh. There's also a little tail. That's adorable. Yeah, I'm going to sew it together and show you the final product. And then I'll talk more about what I think of crocheting. As someone who has been knitting for almost five years and has kind of like been scared to crochet. Um, so let's get on with this. Wow, that's a beauty. Why are my horns so small? Like, this is not the same as the picture. <laughs> okay, we have a finished cow. It, it doesn't look exactly like the picture. For reference, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, I did cut some corners. <laughs> I cut corners because I didn't understand some of the instructions. So I think the arms and legs were supposed to be a bit shorter than they ended up. But that's okay. And he's just overall a little 
less symmetrical than I would have liked. But, you know, aren't we all? So, um, <clears throat> here he is. A little like, uh, I gotta kind of squish him into shape here. But, oh my god, you know what? For a first actual crochet project, it looks very much like it's supposed to. He's kind of like, look at him. His name is Casey, apparently. Um, and you know what? I, I'm proud of myself just for being able to get the feel of it and make something that looks like... Like, you can tell this is a cow. Of course that's a cow, you know? <clears throat> In fact, it's better than my knit, like, stuffy making. I'll show you the one I made. So this is a Christmas decoration I made, and it's horrifying. That, compared to this, girl. Maybe it was the kit, but I think I did a good job at this. Now the back looks a little messy, but he's supposed to be like sitting this way, I think. So I feel pretty good. And I have, I think, more confidence with crochet than I did when I started this. I want to get more of these kits because I feel like it's a good starting place. And I still have the pattern in case I want to like try it again. Just get, get the yarn for it and, and give it another try. But <laughs> I'm proud of myself, and I feel like I have a bit more respect for crocheting, understanding how it works, and how fun it is. And you know what? I like the fabric. I've changed my mind. I've changed my ways. I'm a new woman. But my voice is gone, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much for following along with me. If you're also a knitter and you want to learn how to crochet... A kit is a great place to start, and hopefully I've inspired you a little bit to give it a try because it's not that scary once you get a feel of things. So um, me and Casey are done for today, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>